Hi guys, it's Super3 and today we are completing the misplaced gopher mission in St. Swithin's Moor. Um, so the loco location of this is under, I think, Hidden Present 5 and you roll on a ball to get a hold of him. Um, check my collectibles guide if you're struggling for the location for him. Um, the camera just goes crazy there. Now make sure that you just go directly for this one because um, I find if you're trying to go for the collectibles and stuff you almost certainly will drop him or lose him because there's a lot of backtracking and running around here. We're going to have to walk across these kind of areas twice. The first one's not too bad. Um, just always place him down on one of the firm hexagons where there's plants and stuff. That way you, you're free to um, not have to worry about dropping him and then just make sure that the road's nice and flat and then take out the scraps ahead of you you will have the ball ability obviously if you've uh, been able to even pick him up so um, the scraps aren't too difficult to dispatch of or well, you can always use the wind tactic as well to uh, when they jump to blow them straight off if the way looks clear, and it is on that one because no, it doesn't look like there's any paper scraps, we can just kind of run past them. Uh, remember if, in general, you are supposed to be killing all the scraps though, but as you've most likely, you have to come back to this level anyway, uh, you won't be out. You should have hopefully got all the collectibles already. The scrolls tend to pick him up like that which is quite irritating which is why I just threw him off because the last thing you want is the uh, squirrels accidentally making him fall off a ledge. This is probably one of the shorter journeys you get with the uh, go first so this, and this is not too bad. This area, this area we have to um, just blow the wind to manipulate the flags and that was extremely lucky um, I didn't drop him there alright oh, that flag's not the right one, it's this one here but you just take a beeline straight to uh, the ending and just avoid as many fights as possible I think there's an another fight we're going to get into here, yeah. It will be very tempting to throw your um, gopher at them, don't do it. It's just it's just not worth the risk. If, it, if anything happens to go wrong, um, you can end up losing him. This, these parts aren't the tricky parts, it's the final section which is actually going to be um, difficult. I always misjudge the jump height on um, IOR. Right, let's uh, go here. Uh, the character's name changes to AOE if you choose the female version. So we have to uh, get past these double barrels like that and then I find it easy to go on the lower one then jump on the big one near the end. Now we're almost there, we've just got another fight here. When, as soon as we get into this little building. Yeah, I'm not a fan of how the camera behaves like that when it's chasing objects. I uh, just plonk him down in a corner and then try and fight him. You're probably safe for putting him in the bottom corners though because um, he can fall off the top edge. Right, um, just grab hold of him and we'll head out of here now.
and this is the tricky part the crows f end up flying back and forth and they will manipulate the ground so to get by we have to think of the shortest route between solid patches of ground we can obviously move the ground too but you've only got a few seconds between each wave when they turn things over we're going to have to be extremely patient because we've got the gopher so just don't risk it just wait till the ground looks nice and flat before you proceed um, I'm just sticking to this side because there looks like there's a much smaller gaps on this side compared to the other sides also just be aware of the timing of the crows when they're behind you they seem to um, turn around quicker at least that's what I th that's how that's the impression I was getting you can kind of you'll see the timing on my video anyway but we want to go to that big bundle of land on the left that's what I'm aiming for at the moment and the ground has got flat so now we can go another fight with scraps which is inconvenient I'm not even going to drop my gopher here because I think that's just risky so we're just going to try and blow them whenever they turn I remember when they land on the um, yellow hexagons you can flip them so they die that way as well I had a chance that I just missed to cross but I didn't want to risk it and rush it that was a risky move I wouldn't advise doing that unless you're feeling really gutsy but I did avoid a fight so that's what you've got to weigh that up they've got one more small dash you want to wait till three hexagons are flat in a line that's the time you're gonna you're gonna want to run and there we go three in a row and fat and uh, then we can just drop off the go far and that would if that was the first go if you dropped you'd get the taxi trophy um, but anyway guys thanks for watching hope that helps you deliver the go for yourself until next time bye